unstoppable moron nukes nuclear wasteland noticeably worse. <laughs> Fallout New Vegas by the Russian Badger. Oh, 100% this is going to get muted for YouTube. This is going to get muted and I'm going to put my own music in there. <laughs> He almost makes you wish for a nuclear winner. Spoiler warning. New Vegas yes. has an incredible story and it's a shame. Spoiler warning. If you care about New Vegas spoilers, you have been warned. I don't care because if I, I have already been spoiled and I will forget. Came to ruin it with spoilers. So consider this a fair warning. Welcome to New Vegas, a wonderful place that makes <laughs> and see <CO. clears throat> <laughs> Welcome to New Vegas, a wonderful place that makes you say... That's Vegas, baby. Have you ever seen a man use nuclear weapons in close quarters combat? Oh my god. That's Vegas, baby. You ever murdered somebody just so you could take a one hour nap in their filthy cock? That's Vegas, baby. That's Vegas, baby. You ever seen someone covered in pitch, set on fire, and tossed into the Grand Canyon only to somehow crawl out and survive? We can't ex what happens in New Vegas stays in New Vegas. Beg God to do all the work. Jesus Christ. That's Vegas, baby. But enough of the empty chatter. How about we start getting somewhere? The time for talk has passed. The Lord's work must be done. Fall in New Vegas is the story <laughs> of a courier delivering a mysterious package to the New Vegas Strip that's robbed by a charismatic gangster and left to die in the Mojave Wasteland. Truth is... Why does he look so civilized and the other guys around him just look like a f like biker gang? The game was rigged from the start. Fortunately, a man by the name of Doc Mitchell digs the lead out of your brain, picks up the pieces, and puts you back together like Humpty Dumpty, introducing you to character creation. I hope you don't mind, but I had to go rooting around there in your noggin to pull all the bits of lead out. Special stats come from- I just had to go rooting around in that noggin of yours, just like rooting around, just kind of digging, digging for gold in that noggin of yours. I might have scratched a few, a few brain cells out of there, but you know, we're just rooting around, we're rooting around. First, in the form of strength, perception, endurance, charisma, intelligence, agility, and luck. Each making you good or bad at certain things on a scale from one to 10. You got 10 agility? That makes you the deadliest gunslinger this side of the Mississippi. You got one charisma? Well, negotiating with you has got to be the most awkward and infuriating interaction two human beings can have. I think my problem when I played Fall, uh, Fallout 4 is I didn't do the stats right. I should have done 100% into the stats that I needed to shoot better. Just give me some goddamn medics and fuck off, will you? Because I'm a bumbling moron and play video games like a fucking ape, I said to hell with the balance allocation they suggest and mm. went straight up Lord Death of Murder Mount. 10 strength, 7 endurance, 10 agility, and 10. See, this is what I should have done. <laughs> Intelligence. <laughs> Charisma. I should have done Uga Boga. Uh, maybe then I would have enjoyed the game more. And luck. God, what the fuck is this bitch? All right, let's state the obvious. There's something wrong with me. I am Hercules' <laughs> bigger cousin Strong, with tough as nails endurance, walks on water agility, and two-headed coin flip lucky. If I so much as breathe on an organism in the Mojave, you better believe it'll end in a critical hit with enough force to overthrow a small government. Like the sight of your own blood? I don't know. Do you? <laughs> However, it also means that I have the perception of a deaf bat, the charisma of a misanthrope, and intelligence so low that calling me dumber than a fucking brick is- SUB BRICK! <laughs> Fallout 2, you can actually play as a character who can't speak properly because of lack of intelligence! 
I wish they would remake the old Fallout so we could play them because I'm not playing the, the graphical sadness of Fallout 2. The low intelligent dialogue options are great. That's what I'm saying. That's what I should have done. I should have played the the dummy dumb. Is perfectly accurate. That was probably pretty dumb, huh? These base stats are complemented by skills, which are heavily influenced by where you put your special points. Like, remember my 10 agility? That means jacked guns and jacked sneak. Remember my one charisma that makes my speech and barter barely resemble that of a sentient human being? <laughs> I'm so terrifying, yet so lacking in social skills. Even the most basic conversation probably feels like a hostage negotiation. Well, good luck with that. Again, Lord Death of Murder Mountain, which means specking guns, sneak, and explosives so I can exterminate any life form I come into contact with from the tiniest praying mantis to the... See, that's what I should have played. Saltiest powder gang. Take this, you stupid fucking bug. <laughs> Powder gangers rule. <laughs> Special points. He's just annihilating them. And skill points are rounded out by traits, which I just adore. Because on one hand, you can pick something pragmatic like built to destroy, which gives you a higher critical hit chance, but your weapons wear out faster. Bang, bang, Had enough. bang, bang. His arms. Guys, this video is so educational. I forgot how like educational Russian Badger is, and it's making me want to play Fallout New Vegas. Oh no! Oh no! Fell off. But on the other, you can pick some shit like my favorite, Wild Wasteland, which enables bizarre events to occur, like taking some dicey drugs and fighting a fucking. Now, why that's on fire? How <laughs> it, you stupid son of a bitch? Take drugs, kill a bear. What? <laughs> uh, what? What? There's an actual flaming Yaogwai? What the fuck? Am I even doing uh! the right one? Yeah, that was the right one. <laughs> Once you're done choosing who you want to be and enter the Mojave, that is the next big one you got to learn. Because 90% of staying alive in the wasteland is making sure everything else around you is dead. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ow. The vault Tech Assisted Targeting System, or VATS, is the tightest shit ever. I love VATS because it allows you to freeze time Dio style and choose exactly where you want to shoot and the probability of hitting your target. Watch this center mass. <laughs> it's not mandatory. You don't have to use it. You can just pass things away like you would in any other shooter. Don't taunt me, Gecko. Personally, I use it every chance I get. Just the combination of precise shots, the slow motion, and some of the hilarious outcomes, I just can't help myself. Oh, shit, that hurts. You can select multiple targets. You can be choosy about body parts, like hitting someone's right arm to knock a weapon out of their hand or someone's... It's very interesting that you can do that. Um, I just sucked at Fallout 4. I don't know what I did wrong, but I couldn't shoot for shit. I think I didn't put enough agility or something because my aiming was so bad. And even with the vats, it would always be like, it would always be super low percentage. Legs so they can't flee, especially if that person just won the lottery. Who won the lottery? I did! I feel bad about using the 40 mil for this. In the cheek! That was tight as hell. It's not perfect because even if you're extremely close to a target with near perfect accuracy, sometimes you can accidentally vibe check the wrong person. Whoa, no, no, not shooting Kachino. Thank you very much. Yes, we are shooting Kachino. <laughs> oh my god! No, no. And other times, Vats is just too accurate. I never thought it was possible to be too consistent, but a snafu with dynamite proved me very wrong. Rise and shine, Captain Parker. Oh shit. Oh! That's okay. <laughs> oh my god! Oh. oh shit, everybody's away now. I'm not gonna die now. He just gives it in! I'm so dead. Oh god. I'm even though I may have blown my legs off with dynamite, my heart was in the right place because what I was fighting for was totally worth it. A bed. Just like vats, beds are absolutely critical to your survival because the wasteland is full of scary shit that takes your health away and breaks down your limbs, especially if you use landmines as a primary weapon. Hey, wake up, Frank. Wake up, Frank. <laughs> oh my god. Bed, for just an hour? Imagine doing a, a landmine only run. You regain all of your health and all of your broken limbs are magically fixed. Don't ask oh. me how it works. I don't know about Magic. you guys, but I think that's worth cutting someone's head off with a switchblade. Ring a ding ding, baby. Ooh, that critical. Final word of advice here is to always check if there's an open bed before you kill anybody. 
because I've slaughtered entire tents of people and taken naps next to corpses only to realize there was an open bed right next to them. I just want to take a nap. Let me take a nap, you asshole. With those basics covered, it's time to make our way to New Vegas so we can find that bastard Benny and figure out why some stupid platinum chip was worth blowing someone's head off. Now's a good time to remind you that I'm a complete fucking oaf. I'm glossing <laughs> over a ton of stuff and probably leaving some important shit out. So remember that my advice is meaningless and time is a flat circle. There's more to it, but we don't have the time. By which I mean, you don't. On the road to New Vegas, I prefer to trust... See, maybe my approach to Fallout was all wrong. Maybe my approach to Fallout was too like, oh, let's play a game like like it's intended, like nice and reasonable instead of being like crazy and making it, your character super duper dumb. Absolutely no one, because the wasteland is never as it seems. See that nice old lady running the motel with the giant dinosaur? Well, she just sold someone's wife into slavery. What? Oh, Jeannie Mae, you negotiated the sale of a person and only got a thousand caps? Killing everyone that doesn't explicitly offer value to you is a wonderful policy, because as far as I'm concerned, this wasteland belongs to me and the weak should fear the strong. It's a part of life out here. Best to accept it. Upside here, looting is a dream, <gasps> because robbing a corpse what, why does the bull look like that, guys? Why is the bull's udders, like, so mad? So, so massive! <laughs> is a far smoother experience than bartering with a living being and who knows you might just get lucky and find a mysterious big iron that has sound effects again with Chuck sound effects downside here everyone that you haven't killed yet hates your guts oh man do people ever think you're an abomination so interacting with the various tribes of the mojave is significantly more painful the ncr has declared you a terrorist <gasps> wherever the ncr has jurisdiction you will be shot on sight it's about fucking time fellas <laughs> get to these various tribes in due time all i'm saying is you have choices be good be evil kill nobody kill everybody i don't give a shit make up your own destiny hear that we have options my Option. destiny was to find Benny at the Topps Casino on the New Vegas Strip and figure out why the hell that platinum chip was so goddamn important. But yeah. just before I did, I was reminded of why my seemingly dumbass build is so damn brilliant thanks to maxing out Sneak. You see, none of these casinos on the Strip want a bumbling wastelander walking into the joint with all kinds of dangerous weapons, so they make you check them at the door to avoid any violence. But if your Sneak stat is high, you can fit an arsenal in the door, no problem. I can get weapons past the guards, no problem. You Right. One fella I knew was able to slip a pistol past the guards. You? I'm guessing you could get a machine gun by them. Hey, hey, fella, welcome to the top. Hey, <laughs> I'm so sneaky. I could just have a gun sticky out of my pocket and they'll never notice. They'll never notice the gun just sticky out of my pocket. I'm telling Casino now. I'm going to have to ask you to hand over any weapons you might be carrying. <laughs> Sure, here you go. Smooth and easy, just the way I like it. Okay, so they didn't find two 357s, a 44 Magnum, two 10 millimeter pistols, three 9 millimeter pistols, a combat knife, eight six of dynamite, a frag grenade, three more six of dynamite, a mysterious Magnum, a silence 22, spike knuckles, a switchblade, and a tire iron. Sneak is broken. I'm gonna repair all this, by the way. Don't have an aneurysm. This allows you to kill Benny any way you like. I was surprised he didn't perish from a heart attack the moment he laid eyes on me still breathing. What? In the goddamn blow his guards up what in the goddamn off with dynamite hell you can even let him flee for the time being and kill him later over and over again when his hands are tied thanks to the joy of quick saving now you're talking that is the ring a ding move baby yeah you better believe that benny starts sweating when you hit the <laughs> f5 key some of the slaves have been spreading still. the truth is the game was raped from the start. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna hit him a few more times just so he doesn't come back like I did. Did I really just march halfway? Just really make sure that nobody can save his brains at all. Cross the Mojave to kill Benny with a tire iron? You're damn right. A fair, a fair kill. kill. With a tire iron? Oh, can you actually crucify him? You sick, vindictive fuck. Happy now, you <gasps> twisted you can bum. Crucify I still feel like tire iron is the best. It is always the best. And if you think killing Benny is the climax of your New Vegas crusade, ooh, baby, are you ever ring-a-ding wrong. I'm not talking about Maria, the pistol that he shot you in the face with that you get to use however you like. The truth is... <gasps> you can steal his pistol! His suit is funny. His suit is very funny. Remy, the game was rigged. <laughs> 
I'm not talking about his ace checker suit that I primarily use to get discounts at gun runners. This robot is giving me a 2% discount just because I'm wearing a checkered suit. I'm talking about that mysterious platinum chip that cracks the entire story wide open. And I'm sure you're just itching to know why. What the fuck do you think, asshole? Apparently, the man after this platinum chip you were carrying when Benny blew your head off is Mr. House, the mastermind running the New Vegas Strip. And why am I still talking about him when his ego does such a better job? By the time I was 30 years old, I was a billionaire 30 times over. I founded and- I'm sorry I'm not as successful as you. Ran a vast economic empire. Do you really think I'm going to let an upstart come into my home and ransom my property to me? I spent two centuries searching for the platinum chip. It's my invention. My what property. is it? Mine. Mine. Now be a good courier and deliver it. And he's angry for a reason because his position of power comes from his Securitrons. You know those big blue robot guys that can either kill you on sight or become your cowboy best friend? Howdy, partner. Welcome to New Vegas. Well, that platinum ship you're carrying contains an update to their operating system that turns them from ordinary foot soldiers capable of small arms fire into missile blasting grenade launching behemoths ready to vaporize any adversary into dust. Behold, for the mm -hmm. first time, Securitrons running the Mark II OS. The M235 missile launcher gives the Securitrons... Oh my god! They have some heavy arsenal, but still the wall is not broken. And a rapid fire G28 grenade launcher ensures the Securitron is deadly in close range engagements. Yeah. Benny basically blew her head off because the giant Securitron <gasps> army is currently running Windows XP and you were carrying a licensed version of Windows 10. And that's not <gasps> even the juiciest part. Benny modified his own Securitron, appropriately named Yes Man, to help him steal the Platinum Chip, overthrow Mr. House, commandeer his Securitron army, and shoot him out of the New Vegas Strip. Though I think... But well, how did they put Windows 10... I mean, Windows 11, sorry, sorry. Windows 11 on the chip. Like, how did they put the better operating system on the chip? Like, who stole it? Like, why was it put on that chip? And why a chip? Benny would put it differently. Baby, getting outplayed and getting cheated ain't the same thing. Yes, man is willing to tell you all of this because he is unable to say no. And I know this word doesn't mean anything anymore, but he is literally... A yes man. But hey, not my fault I can't say no. I love this guy because he politely lays out your options for shaping the future of Vegas and forces you to finally decide whose side you're on leading Nobody should be using Windows 10 anymore. Windows 10 is outdated. Up to the final showdown for all the Mojave marbles at Hoover Dam. We shall see how brave you are when nailed to the walls of Hoover Dam. Your body facing west so you may watch your world die. On one side, you've got the New California Republic or N. What, what kind of line is that? What kind of line is that? CR representing old world values like democracy, taxes, and the rule of law, but I'ma keep it a buck. Fuck the NCR. Oh my god, the NCR is unbearable, pun intended. Because even as the good guys, they make it impossible to like them without condescending and pedantic they are, especially when it comes to violence. This is NCR property and guys, is the NCR supposed to be the good people? I just, I'm just very curious. I don't know who's the good pe- I mean, I guess there's no good people. It's Fallout, right? But like, do you guys agree with the NCR? That's what I'm wondering. And we have guns, so you can only do as we please here. And it would please us if you got the hell off our lawn. I honestly can't wait to sell you into slavery. I'm not even kidding. They are such chicken shit cowards. Like, they are so terrified of the Legion crushing them at Hoover Dam, half of them are contemplating suicide. The Legion breaks through our defenses. I got one bullet I'm saving just for me. If the Legion breaks through our defenses, I got one bullet I'm saving just Wait, 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 wait. I recognize that voice. The guy. He sounds a little bit like Gara. Just for me. If the Legion breaks through our defenses, I got one bullet I'm saving just for what? me. Okay, I get it. You want to kill yourself. Shut the fuck up. They're dumber than I am. And as a reminder, I have sub brick intelligence. Like, who should we put in charge of a vital solar power plant? How about some bum off the street named Fantastic with no experience whatsoever? That scientist we hired has got to be the dumbest asshole I've ever come across. <laughs> they asked me how well I understood theoretical physics. I said I had a theoretical degree in physics. They said, welcome aboard. Got the whole... Ah! Oh, no. 
NCR suckling my teats, and it feels so good. The Legion, on the other hand, absolutely based, and the shootouts you witness between these... Sapling? Was that the portal to hell? Was that the portal to hell? Sounds like it, right? It's that war... It's the... The Warhammer portal. We can tra if we go into Sapling's mouth, we can teleport to the other side of the universe. These two rival factions tells you everything you need to know. God damn, does the Legion ever crush the NCR? They just get so. <laughs> you like that? But wait, don't they propagate slavery and crucify anyone that defies their will? Degenerates like you belong on a cross. Did Oh my god, degenerates like you guys belong on a cross. Sapling is a warp, apparently. Bloon, apparently. I didn't know she had that ability. It's a magical power. I mean, she is like an eldritch horror raven, so. <laughs> degenerates like you belong on a cross. Degenerates like you belong <laughs> on a cross. Degenerates like you belong on a cross. Yes, but if there's one. Did they just run out? Did they just run out? Of like lines to give people. So they just got people saying all the same lines. Thank you for the lurk Omega. I really appreciate it. I have been doing good. I'm a little sleepy today. But I hope you have a lovely day. And you're enjoying the lurk. One thing that I hate more than slavery. It's taxes. The worst mm -hmm. kind of slavery. So when I say Awe. You say. True to Kaiser. Time as evil over. as they may be. Time at least. Free. Thank you. And now we can go back to normal volume. These are not pretending like the NCR is, talking mad shit for having no real fighting prowess, and Kaisar's right-hand man Lanius can tell you what happens when words aren't backed by strength. Our roads into NCR are hung with the bodies of those who attempted to negotiate with us. That's the kind of act that- Oh my god, they're just hanging everybody. On Verba ethos I can get behind. Sure, the Legion might be a little intense, but at least they treat me like an equal and have conviction in what they're pursuing. We will mm -hmm. take Hoover Dam and move forward until our feet crush the setting sun beneath them. The good of the NCR or the bad of the Legion aren't your only choices either, because Mr. House is always an option, a very corporate tyrannical option to hand the keys to the Mojave, but I... Oh yeah, you don't wanna, you don't wanna go corporate. You gotta go independent. See, I don't need a faction. I'll just shoot up all the faction, guys. Are they any good factions? I guess when your other choices are cowards or slavers, it's not so bad. My army will do what an army does best. Defend territory from invaders and maintain order. But if you want a wild card option, pick up where Benny left off and side Ooh. with Yes Man. He'll help you take the keys in the Mojave by stealing the Securitrons for yourself. An army like that should be enough to defend Vegas from, I'm gonna say, anybody. That way, you get to murder the belittling Mr. House and conquer the wasteland with a friendly face. And before uh... you say, you can't just kill Mr. House because a robot told you to observe. How did I lose <gasps> karma for that? He was already a vegetable. I'm just making a mashed potato. No matter which path you take, you're forced to familiarize yourself with the smaller tribes of the Mojave to determine whether you want their help in the Battle of Hoover Dam or exterminated for their lack in cooperation. If you like a tribe, leave it alone. Or if a tribe is nasty or going to be a problem, go ahead and exterminate it. It's whatever you want to do. You've got the appropriately ah! named boomers because they're terrified of anything foreign to them, labeling outsiders as savages, and you... Sorry, that's such a good joke. <laughs> Followers of the apocalypse and house is an is an ass, but better than the other some degrees. Mm. Can you start your own faction? That's what I want. You gotta make it through an artillery barrage if you even want to talk. They must be a really nasty people. I haven't heard a single good thing about them. <laughs> I would say this is by far the most accurate artillery barrage that I've ever seen. Like, this is not the way that artillery works. Though. How the hell did you survive that bombardment? I didn't run through all that artillery to hear your stupid question. <laughs> with knives. We blew them up with frag mines and grenades. Burned them with flamethrowers. <laughs> It was neat. Yes. It was, it was neat. Good flamethrowers. Neat. Sure, they're intolerant, but they taught me this field trip to meet other tribes wasn't just so I could check a box of exterminate or don't exterminate. Because if you help them out, they can have a big impact at Hoover Dam. So fine, boomers, I'll fix your stupid plane and make your dreams come true. 
I was supposed to fix the plane. Is this all leading up to the war at Hoover Dam? Everybody's just gonna go and fight each other at Hoover Dam? To restore the bomber, to fly the open skies in armored safety, running high explosive ordnance upon ignorant savages. Oh. Can you dial it back on that word? Anytime he says really savages, really he just goes, savages. The great savages. cons are hilarious because everybody makes fun of them for being filthy drug traffickers that live in tents. The cons are just. They're a dirty people. They live in <laughs> tents like animals, and they're very rude. And I think you can deal with them diplomatically to win their favor, but uh, I've never tried that option. 22%, can I hit that? Oh, I can hit that. Nice, 22%, <laughs> let's go. Killing drug traffickers, killing drug traffickers on their own product. I'm so high off a of psycho right now. Diplomatic efforts are better spent on the Brotherhood of Steel, because if you run their silly errands, they can hook you up with special power armor training to wear this god tier steel suit. Wake up to the money, turn me right on. Everybody looking for that platinum chip when I got that platinum drip. By the way, if you think that T-51 is cooler than T-45, you are actually psychotic. And I'm not gonna recommend that you pickpocket the heavy hitters and initiate their bunker self-destruct sequence once you've got the training in your hands. Boy, Ooh. yoink, play, yoink. I'll take that. Are you sure you would like to initiate the self-destruct? Yes. Oh. You can kill me all you want. I've already won. I've already won. It's already too late. I bet you regret putting that explosive collar on me now, assholes. Good. That's one less loose end. Consider them forgotten. Along with the projections that predict they'll be our biggest enemy. Forgotten. Not all the tribes are out in Bumblefuck either. You've also got to make contact with some of the families running other prominent casinos on the Strip. So even if you already know you want them exterminated, you at least have to look them in the face before you kill them. Benny style. <laughs> Maybe cons kill people without looking them in the face. Yeah, you just got to make sure you make eye to eye contact as you shoot them. But I ain't a fink. Dig. The Omertas that run a giant whorehouse called Gamora deserve to be wiped off the face of the earth. Not just because they Whoa. kill hookers, not because they're stockpiling arms, but because they're complete pieces of shit and it takes like three pickpockets to dismantle their whole operation. What the fuck are you looking at? The fuck are you looking at? What the fuck are you looking at? <laughs> I hear you've been asking questions about me, dickweed. What the fuck do you want? I don't give half a dick what you heard. Now get the fuck out of my face before I- Oh my god, what rude little bad bads. Burn your sorry ass. And I will take that off your hands. Where the fuck did you get that? Okay, listen, buddy. That's some dangerous shit you got there. That <laughs> book can get me killed if the wrong people see it. Let's talk. What do you want? Just like that? Oh. I love how you just rob him so nice and strategically and then blackmail him with the thing you just robbed. Guns are gone. And as much as I'd love to tell you that I had an elaborate way of destroying Kachino and his cronies, you already saw how that ended. I guess we are shooting Kachino. <laughs> Go oh, no. The White Glove Society at the Ultralux are by far the worst liars I have ever come across. When people proactively scream at you, we're not cannibals, we swear. You better believe they eat people. For the last time, the White Glove Society has never and will never consume human flesh for any reason. You know what? That sounds so convincing, chat. She looks like she's waiting to bite you. As I end up reviewing this footage, I feel like I can tell you exactly what she meant by saying those words. The White Glove Society will consume human flesh for any reason. We do not engage in cannibalism here under any circumstances. <laughs> oh no, this is another one that's just too perfect to pass up. We engage in cannibalism here under any circumstances. <laughs> it gets even better once you press them on it. Like, why do so many people... Apparently, humans taste like pork. Yep, that's what I was saying in Spooky Stream yesterday. <laughs> I'll just say, uh, yeah. Disappear while staying at your hotel. And they're like, what? We hired a private investigator to solve that mystery. Go ask him about it. And he's dead in his room. I had our Mater D Mortimer offer him a complimentary room for as long as it took for him to be satisfied. Oh. It makes you wonder if that's why pork isn't halal. Like, <laughs> it's just like, mm, we we don't condemn the consumption of humans and pork is too similar to humans. <laughs> really? Yo, holy shit, he dead. He dead, who killed him? A bunch of dudes in tuxedos to fight a man in power armor. 
great idea. Their latest victim is the son of this rancher named Heck Gunderson, and he is definitely worth rescuing in the basement. Not only because of the conversation you get to have with the chef. Who the fuck do you think I am? I'm the fucking god of New Vegas Brahmin fusion cuisine. That's who. Oh my god, a chef that thinks he's so important, that he thinks he's so important that he has to he has to yell and he's wearing a tuxedo? What the heck? No, no, that doesn't even give me the credit I deserve. I fucking invented edible food. Do you like what? eating? Good. You owe me your entire... Sir, you did not invent edible food. Edible food, food is edible. Therefore, it is food, so then it's edible. What are you talking about? Goddamn garbage existence. Keep talking shit, Philippe. <laughs> Keep talking shit. Not only because you get to feel the adrenaline rush of fighting 15 cannibals at once. No, run away, kid. Run away. Fuck, I got the kid. Not only because you can punch Marjorie's stupid head off and even the Mater D if you feel so inclined. What the fuck? How does she have such a strong head? Such oh, a stubborn shit. head! Degenerates like you belong on the <laughs> But because once you do get him back to his dad, he shoots up the whole casino in a fit of rage and cuts off the entire food supply to the New Vegas Strip. Oh my god. Oh shit, you like that? Ooh. Look at his gun Nailed shooting! Well, that does it. None of them maniacs will ever do business with Hag Gunderson long as they live. They control the food? Well, there ain't gonna be no food. Not for anybody in this whole damn town. Let them starve. Biggest favor anyone's ever done this hellhole. That sounds like a fantastic <laughs> idea. Hell, there are even tinier tribes that aren't mandatory to meet with, but worth exterminating anyway. So I'm looking at you, fiends. What the fuck are you doing here? You've got some <laughs> kind of fucking death wish, asshole. Final warning, asshole. All right, asshole. You just... Ma'am, a language! Fucked yourself. The only annoying part about the fiends are their traps, which they end up triggering themselves most of the time. <laughs> Did he just trigger his own trap? Oh, you f- <laughs> Oh god. Oh god, she definitely tripped it. She definitely- Oh! It's even worse that these traps defy the laws of time and space. Like one time I triggered a trap and a second before it exploded, I escaped outside and thought I was safe. Little did I know that the timeline inside this building freezes once you leave it. So no matter how long I spent outside, that grenade was still one second away from exploding on the inside. On top of that, New Vegas saves anytime you enter a building. So I was now auto saved right inside that building with a grenade about to explode, which eventually formed an infinite loop of dying to a grenade, loading the autosave, and dying to that same grenade. And over, and over, and over again for all of eternity. Going back inside? All good? All good. Oh, oh, oh not good. Oh, shit. What happens if I load, though? Wait, what happens when I load? All the same shit's gonna happen forever now. He's in the infinite timeline loop of constantly being grenaded. Because it auto loads the auto save from the doorway. Fuck, man, it's gonna go on forever. Speaking of explosions, That's a strong I don't grenade. hate the powder gangers, but for some reason they hate me. Like their alliance on dynamite, I really admire. Why can't we be friends? I'm pretty sure all three of them just threw dynamite at me. It's like, can we be friends, please? We have the similar ideas and ideologies of exploding everything with dynamite. Let's be friends. Why can't we be friends? Hey, Dormammu, Why can't this we has come to be bargain. friends? Why can't we be friends? <laughs> they did. Okay, so we got a dead caravanner. We got a dead powder ganger. And what's he going to say? Damn. Run Damn. One smokes again. That's the most power ganger <laughs> answer I've ever heard. The only group I didn't bulldoze on site were the kings, because you can't do that to the king. And if you don't know who the king is, well, you should take a trip to Memphis and find out. Who's the king? You believe this asshole man? Thank you. Thank you very much. No matter. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. What? Is there a whole entire faction that just worships Elvis Presley? how you choose to handle the tribes or who you choose to back in the battle of hoover dam the presidential assassination quest will always be funny because if you're back in the nc wait wait you can shoot the president <laughs> 
backyard, Mr. House, or Yes Man, you've got to prevent it from happening. Hey God, that, that fucking scared me, dude. Hey <laughs> Uh, did that ranger just get blasted off that tower? Um, um, I have a quick save. I just want to see if he's going to take his head off. Oh, fuck. He got Oswald. <laughs> Those rangers don't give a shit. They're just standing there. Look at them. Um, 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 um. You're not going to get away with it this time, you sneaky piece of shit. Oh. Oh. What? Oh. What? Oh. Oh. What? Oh. Mr. President. Mr. President, get down. What the fuck? I think his legs got stuck in the tower and his torso just didn't want to be there. Uh, should I? Should I call this in or just let it grow free? I actually don't know if he's any any much of a threat any longer. I think that was it. Just one guy. He's on the vertebrae. You son of a bitch! The game was rigged from the start! This dude is so strong, he powers through save games. Like, I just quick saved, it quick loaded, and he's still here. It was around this time that I realized siding with the Legion is so much more fun, and sticking it to the dumbass NCR is just icing on the cake. Like, if I bring a missile launcher to a presidential speech and you don't find it suspicious, you deserve to have your president vaporized. Do they care? Don't even care that I'm whipping out a missile launcher right in front of the fucking president. Goddamn. You. It's because he's so sneaky, guys. It's, he's not being perceived. Dispatched President Kimball with real skill. Ah, uh, yes. Right real Such skill. skill. Missile launcher from point blank range. The sole fact that Kaisar is suffering from a brain tumor and is prone to random fits of headache induced rage makes oh his my cause God. worth backing. You'll be talking about a quest and then out of nowhere. God damn it. I expect that information can be used to manipulate them. Go to. God damn it. Fuck this. <laughs> I'm going to lie down. He's so relatable, guys. He's so relatable. All of a sudden, I'll just go into a fit of incredible yawning rage. If you interfere with me getting some sleep again, I'm going to have you killed. <laughs> we will talk later. <laughs> ah, wait. True to Kaiser. It's not a full strength chapter, mind you. The profligates. Yes. <sighs> the profligates. What about the profligates? <laughs> but because the game ends once the Battle of Hoover Dam is over, it's a solid idea to explore all the Wasteland has to offer before you finish the fight. Talk shit to the mm. NCR hit squads that force you to improve your standing with the Republic or suffer the consequences. The oh, consequences? Since you haven't pissed yourself, I'll assume that you don't know who we are. Next time I'll bring my sickle and wear my black cloak. The NCR sends oh. us when they want terrible things done to terrible people. You've got three days to improve your reputation with the NCR or we come for you without all this pleasant conversation. Yeah, sure, you got it. I'll stop working for Kaiser. Man, you're really scary running in the other direction. The DLC is worth checking out, and even though I only played Honest Hearts to avoid making this video two hours long, boy, was it ever worth it. God damn it, ambush! Come ambush? How many DLCs does New Vegas have? Can I even, can I even prevent this? I don't Oh, oh, shit. I don't think I can stop this. Yeah, I don't think I can stop this. I think it's designed to happen this way. Or I'm just hitting 20 somehow. I don't know how I hit on 20. What the fuck? Yeah, they're all dead. Forget it. Forget it. Fuck you. I'd highly recommend the Sneering Imperialist trait if you head to Zion, which grants you a 15% damage buff and a bonus hit in VATS against Raiders, Junkies, and Tribals. It's basically weaponized racism, or at the very- <laughs> least oh, no. a racism buff. And I'm not racist, but I do appreciate doing 15% extra damage and having a bonus hit in VATS. What is that damage? Auslander Zuka Joshua Gram. If you're too dumb to speak my language, you're too dumb to talk to me. Get lost. Shice. Speaking of Joshua Shice. Graham, that's Kaisar's former right-hand man that lost the first battle of Hoover Dam, which ended in him getting covered in pitch, set on fire, and <gasps> tossed into the Grand Canyon. I survived because the fire inside burned brighter than the fire around me. I fell down into that dark chasm, 
the flame burned on and on. His crispy ass is the best character in all of New Vegas, and airing out an entire canyon with his pistol pack and 45 buff is some of the most fun I've ever had. The time for talk has passed. The Lord's work must be done. Make no mistake about why we are here. This is an extermination. While Joshua Whoa, Graham is an in extermination. your party, any 45 caliber auto pistol you use has less spread and is twice as likely to score critical Whoa. hits. Oh. <laughs> Warned you at Syracuse. Kunaman, mad. He kill all white legs. You talk. You stop. Whatever. Joshua put a cap in General Gobbledygook here. <laughs> and once I found my way out of Zion, it was time for the final phase of the plan. You already know what the fuck about to happen. Vegas will fall. The fight for Hoover Dam is radically different depending on which side you're on. Like, you can crush the NCR with something as simple as a hunting shotgun or a Garand. I can already tell this is easier. So much easier than taking on the lead. Jeez, well, apart Oopsie from that daisy. little bit of friendly fire, this Oopsie honestly daisy. feels like a different difficulty. Like, these rangers fucking suck. It, did I, like, drop down to very easy? What is this? I'm sorry, ranger, but it's... It's a wrap for you. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it a stack, trooper. It's not safe for you right now. Oh, my now. God. Fuck you and your fake power armor. That shit is whack. It doesn't block anything. Like, what's the point? What's ah! the point? Going up against the Legion is a whole different ball game. That shit is tricky. I mean, not that tricky because if you slam enough Medex, Jet, and Psycho while flat out abusing the anti-material rifle, nothing in this game is that tricky. Rip the homie. Honestly, Nin. You get so high on a drug that your bullets start doing more damage. I just love that. Best feature of this game. <laughs> <laughs> but still, fighting alongside the Legion is so much more fun and so much more vindicating once you get to wipe that condescending smirk off General Oliver's face. I would sooner spit on the grave of my dead mother than let some courier walk the wasteland. Fuck, talk to me like that. Oh my god. Courier walk the wasteland fuck? Would you like to rephrase? I think you're cast out enough to know my chances are pretty good. <gasps> chances are pretty good? You just vaporized four rangers. Oh, this should be good. Shut the fuck up. Ah! Highlight for me, beyond boomers dropping high explosive ordnance upon ignorant savages. Corrected. That little kid Pete talking about raining high explosive ordnance upon ignorant savages, I kind of get it now. Was the appearance of the mysterious stranger and misfortune. Basically, there's these two traits where there's a random chance that a man or woman will show up in vats and blast Sorry away the enemy you're engaging and nothing again. I've been playing Dragon Quest 3. That's the mysterious stranger, but misfortune cannot be topped. Head crippling someone will that is Meryl! We'll never know. Well, I guess misfortune's just gonna steal the show. Frag rounds. I'm missing. I'm missing all of those. Oh, misfortune! <laughs> it goes so far when she hits them. Don't you run away from me. She's amazing! Where is he even going? The closet? <laughs> what? Um... He okay. Oh my god, he went to hide in the closet! Hey, it seems like a weird place to Oh, mysterious stranger. Ah! Oh, chuckle fuck. In the closet of all places. In the fucking closet. That's a big I closet, feel like though. The premium kind of sucks, but I guess it's worth trying out every now and again. Oh, misfortune! That's tight! Ah! Ah! What? Where did that dude's fucking body go? Honestly, the glitches are the best part. There she is again. And holy shit. She is so much better than Mysterious Stranger, it's not even funny. She's like a walking artillery piece. Come on out, Oliver. Oh, that's unfortunate. That's oh, so unfortunate. that's it's hilarious. Are by far the best thing in this game. Like, they just do so much fucking damage. God, dude, look at this clown. Fuck the NCR. I don't know if the big boomer penetrates. Oh, never mind. Miss Force is just gonna do the work for me. So it doesn't penetrate, but it still has a lot of damage. Is that a misfortune hit on two consecutive vats? Oh my is god. Shit broken? Is three in a row possible? Could the Well, never mind. Never mind. Degenerates like you belong on a cross. 
Oh my I god! It's the last dude. It's the last dude. And that's the story of how we crushed the NCR and took Hoover for damn. God willing, Kaiser does the same shit to California because Lord knows it needs to happen. This drama pleases me. Perhaps in time I will be granted the honor of conquering the land known as California. For now, come. We must see to the burning of the dead. Don't forget to take a sip from your trusty Vault 13 canteen on the way out. You don't want to get dehydrated in the Mojave. Just sold a bunch you never want to get dehydrated in the Mojave. Technically speaking, you're not wrong. But actually speaking... <laughs> bunch of human flesh to gun runners. You take a sip from your trusty Vault 13 canteen. You take a sip from your trusty Vault 13 canteen. <laughs> Just slaughtered an elderly couple to take a nap <laughs> in their bed. Sips from canteen. God, dude, you take a sip from your trusty Vault 13 canteen. Blows up Brotherhood of Steel Bunker. Take sip from trusty Vault 13 canteen. You He's just walking drunk, honestly. Take a sip from your trusty Vault 13 canteen. I have been <laughs> chugging out of this sink for the past 40 seconds to not waste a stim pack. And what am I doing while I'm chugging out of a sink? I'm taking a sip from my trusty Vault 13 canteen. And that's about it. That's all I got to say. Now, final fuck the NCR for being pedantic pieces of the shit. Trolling the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear winner. And make Kaiser rule the Mojave for all of eternity. True to Kaiser. Yes, man, is also a solid option. But I'll stop now. It's time for this video to end. We accomplished a lot together. It was fun. Take care. Da -da -da -da. And that's it. That's Follow New Vegas. I'd like to give a quick shout out to Cyberpunk 2077 because I originally was going to make a video on that, but oh. then I was like, oh, this is a broken fucking piece of trash. <laughs> I should probably check out who did this the right way, and Fallout New Vegas is something incredible. I'm not going to hit you with any of the game critics. Cyberpunk was a mess when it came out, but apparently now it's better than all the Bethesda games lines but the story is cash the characters are cash to the point that i almost cried at some of the voice lines. um guys do we know if russian badger is a beth says the fanboy or beth says the critic Lines. Like Joshua Graham's story is so damn inspiring for a fucking fictional character. Oh my god. You know what? Guys, should I finish Cyberpunk? I was playing so much Cyberpunk and I never got very far. Should I finish Cyberpunk? I kind of took a break from it because we I switched to something else. And I've always been thinking, should I go back to Cyberpunk and finish it? Yeah, please play this game, you dumb son of a bitch. I'm going to end it there. I really am going to cross my fingers and hope this video was not demonetized and age restricted like the last <laughs> Fallout video because I did so much fucking psycho and psycho jet that it actually thought I was, I don't know, recommending the use of hard drugs. <laughs> and before I go, if you think the death claws are scarier than cats, Azadors, degenerates like you belong on a cross. Okay.